The Secret Code of Conversation on the QT. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad of expressions. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind a phrase you might have heard in movies, read in books, or stumbled upon in conversations. This is on the QT. So, what does it mean, and how can you use it in your daily conversations? Let's find out together. The phrase, on the QT, is a bit of an old-fashioned expression that carries a very specific connotation. It means, on the quiet, implying that something should be kept secret or confidential. When someone says, this is on the QT, they're essentially telling you that the information they're sharing should not be disclosed to others or discussed openly. It's a trust-based statement that highlights the sensitivity or privacy of the subject matter. You might wonder where this phrase comes from. QT is believed to be an abbreviation for quiet, a clever way to emphasize the need for discretion. This expression has its roots in British English, and while it's considered somewhat archaic, it still pops up in conversations, especially in contexts that involve gossip, insider information, or confidential matters. In terms of usage, on the QT is often used in informal settings. You might hear it among friends sharing secrets, in movies depicting undercover operations, or in novels that involve clandestine activities. It's not commonly used in formal or professional communications. To help you better understand how to use on the QT in real life scenarios, let's look at a few examples. I heard about the company's new project, but it's all on the QT right now. She told me she's planning a surprise party for him, but it has to be on the QT. They're investigating the issue on the QT to avoid any public panic. These examples illustrate the phrase's versatility in discussing secrets, plans, or actions that require discretion. Understanding and using expressions like on the QT can add a layer of richness and variety to your English communication skills. While it's not the most modern phrase, it's a wonderful example of the language's depth and historical layers. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing expression, and we encourage you to try using it in your conversations. Just remember to keep it on the QT. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next video where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of the English language.